Hello folks and welcome back. On the floor here we have a little bit of a jigsaw puzzle for you. Let's go take a look. So what we have here is a partially disassembled Toyota Prius Gen 2 trans axle. Out here on the black bag uh, we have most of the gears uh, the differential and the power split device taken apart. Uh, this part here is the front case uh, which has MG1 uh, basically in behind this cover here. Um, over here is the rear part of the case which has uh, the MG2 stator which is on the back here so we have MG2 stator and uh, various other bits and bobs the park lock system and things like that so uh, the other final part of the puzzle is the rear housing uh, which we have here which basically contains the oil pump and MG2 resolver now so why have we taken all this apart? Well, in the normal Toyota Prius um, hybrid trans axle, MG1 uh, is used for engine starting and for generating electricity. It is not and cannot be used, at least in this generation of trans axle, to move the wheels of the car. Now, that is because of this part here, which sits in here. So I'm going to put some of the components in. This is the power split device. So this guy here is our MG1. What we have done is we have basically modified the power split device. So this is the sun gear, and that's connected to MG1's rotor and what fits in on top of this is the planet carrier. Now the planet carrier and the ring gear basically if it wants to play ball for me, there we are, normally form the power split device. So what uh, I have done here, just remove the ring gear again, is I have TIG welded the planet gears to the planet carrier. So now when MG1 turns, the planet carrier turns. And if we put the ring gear back in, okay, so our sun gear planet gears and ring gear now rotate as one piece and when this gear is placed back on top MG2 rotor normally sits in on top of this so now MG1 and MG2 are now basically fixed together and will drive the differential by means of the chain sprocket here and our chain drive and various gear wheels here. Now, you might say, might say to me, Damien, why have you done this? That's crazy. Well, it's because we're not going to use this in a normal hybrid vehicle. We are going to, to use this to see if we can uh, make an electric vehicle and make an electric vehicle cheaply and that way we want to use MG1 and MG2 in parallel to drive the wheels of the car hence the modification. Now during the disassembly process uh, I came across some spare parts and this part here which is a little 
flange of some sort with three little lugs on it. I cannot identify where this goes uh, goes into in which location. And there's also this part, which is again some kind of a thrust flange or some kind of a cover. Uh, I'm not really sure where those parts go. So if anyone knows um, where I'm supposed supposed to fit those parts, please leave a comment. Right, so, I'm going to preempt a couple of the negative comments that I know are going to be left here. Uh, number one is, Damien, that's not going to work. Those motors need 650 volts. How are you going to do that? They don't need 650 volts, folks. They need 650 volts if you want to spin them at full speed. They do not need 650 volts if you want to get them spinning. So, let's see how that one works out. Second comment. Damien, that's not going to work. Those motors can't run full power all the time. Very few internal combustion engines fitted to modern automobiles can either. But... On the Gen 2 transaxle, Toyota have made this easy for us because they have split the cooling ports between the two case halves. Here we have the cooling hoses for MG1 and over here, if I can find them, but there are two pipes here, trust me on that, we have the cooling hoses for MG2. So, we can split the cooling loops and get extra cooling going on there. And we have temperature sensors built into the, to this thing and we'll be able to find out, um, you know, how things work out. And finally, I'll just, I'll just get this one out there. Damien, that control system that you have is no good. You can't possibly drive two motors from it. Just watch me. All right, now, that's about it. I'm going to leave you guys there. Uh, we will be, be back with some more Toyota Hybrid Madness uh, and other normal madness. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And we will see you in the next video. Um, until then... Happy power split device welding.